Well, you want college students to get a well-rounded education. That happens every day at UC Davis, but the staff is taking the idea of an elective to a new height. As KCRE3's Jason Mark shows us tonight, there is a lot brewing on campus. There's a certain blend to any college campus. And UC Davis is no different. There's no good surface to like smack it. A mix of young minds. Ice Americano. Thank you so much. With a thirst. I drink a lot of coffee. I'm gonna need to get another one. For something more than knowledge. Ice, please. Keeps me awake. Get, makes me do my homework. Sometimes it gives me the energy I need. Fun. Coho. I love coffee. <laughs> the campus coffee house provides the backdrop. One pump, no? Two pumps? To study the perfect pour. What goes into coffee? Yeah. Um, a lot, actually. No, no. I don't, I just buy it and I drink it. <laughs> but right across the street. I never even knew a, a class like this existed at Davis. <laughs> We're waking up. Sits the sciences lab building. There's a lot more like math than we thought. Where it's business about the bean. Oh, it's really hard to concentrate. It smells really good. The smell, the smell. It's exciting. It, it's very good. And I love like every Tuesday morning just coming in and having the room smelling like coffee. This. Let the tasting commence is the chemistry of coffee. Well, I told all my family at like at Thanksgiving too, and they're like, you're taking a class about coffee? Like, what's that like? A UC Davis staple since 2013. It's pretty hard. We started with 18 students. Now more than 600 students sign up each semester. When I saw this class, I was like, okay, like this sounds like a fun class, and it's actually, a lot more goes into it than I realized. Yeah, you see how different that is? Yeah, I like that. A lot of people just think coffee, like it's just adding hot water to, to a brown powder. It's so much more complicated than that. There's a whole science behind it, and it's cool that we get to experiment with that in the classroom. No, 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 you can't do it here. Who knew? There could be so much education ground up. They're definitely percolating. In each cup of joe. The pressing allows the coffee to filter through, and uh, yeah, we should, we'll have about like 200 grams of coffee. This is the amount of energy per bean, and then we multiply it by the amount of beans we use. Thick is good. Thick is good. More smoky, kind of more dark roast notes. This class is much more delicious than a standard dissecting frog bio lab. Yeah, we'll be ready to study for our finals later today. What's done in this classroom? It's not that bad. Is a careful craft. Oh, that was kind of a lot. <laughs> it's just like a completely like different way of looking at coffee. I like that one too. A chance to learn. High numbers are good, low numbers are bad. Do you need me to recalculate this? You'd become a connoisseur. It's, a, it's good. And do it. You're gonna be wired all day today. With a bit. Okay, are we ready for the next one? Of a jolt. I know, caffeine levels are rising. Some of the best coffee I've ever had in my life has been prepared by students in this class. In Davis. I only wish I uh, was a TA for that class then I could taste their, their great work. For photojournalist Drew Falk. Now, every single time I smell coffee, I think of, oh, coffee lab. <laughs> Jason Marks. Hopefully you enjoyed the lab course. KCRA, three news. Yay. Yay. They're right, it's definitely better than dissecting the frog. It, it is, yeah. and they're all like, yay, yeah. <laughs> we're so buzzed. Well, we've got, uh, we just saw the introductory coffee course at Davis. There are more advanced classes. Several UC Davis graduates have actually gone on to work in the coffee industry.